It's the Game Face Highlight Show presented by the Citizens Voice, the Week 10 Rivalry Week Edition. We're going to start off at Wyoming area where the Pittston area Patriots came to play the Warriors. Darren Rodney had a huge night for Wyoming area, rushed for 141 yards and a pair of touchdowns. His first one covered 21 yards to put the Warriors up 7 to nothing. Still in the first quarter, Dominic DeLuca follows up with a one-yard touchdown run. 14-0 Warriors. 22-0 Wyoming area after one. In the second quarter, more of the same. Rodney, another touchdown. And then to close out the first half, Derek Ambrosino catches a 14-yard pass on Dominic DeLuca. Ambrosino had two catches, both going for touchdowns, covering 110 yards. Wyoming area wins big over Pittston area on Friday night, 45-0. Neighboring rivals Nanticoke area and Hanover area met at Hanover on Friday night. First quarter, Nanticoke area lined up to punt, fourth and long deep in their own territory. Cody Budzinski, though, who, who's also the quarterback, going to look around trying for someone to throw to. Nobody open, so he's going to take off himself, and is going to go 81 yards after some nice moves, shoots up the sideline, goes all the way for the touchdown, puts Nanticoke ahead 6-0. Second quarter, Bazinski showing off his arm. A touchdown pass here from Keanu Ammons hit short of the goal line, but a good second effort gets in for the Trojans' touchdown. And then later in the second quarter, it's Darren Bozeman catching a pass in the back of the end zone for Bazinski. Trojans up 19 to nothing at this point. Hanover area at this point finally gets its offense going. The running game working, setting the Hawkeyes up deep in their own end. And then Bobby Sebecki on the end around goes 15 yards for the touchdown, but it wasn't enough. As Nanticoke, they go on to win 39 to 20. Northwest hosted Riverside Friday night. As the Rangers try to keep their playoff hopes alive, Ryan Wassel got them started early, but George May gets them on the board. An 11 yard touchdown puts Northwest ahead 7 to nothing. May had a huge day for Northwest. This is his third touchdown on the night. At the time, it's 20 to eight in favor of the Rangers. May not done. His fourth touchdown comes on a fourth and goal play. Northwest goes up 27 to 14. Riverside mounted a rally in the fourth quarter, but fell just a little bit short. Northwest defeats Riverside 40 to 38. Wilkesbury area came to Crispin Field on Friday night to play Berwick. Bulldogs up 7-0 in the first quarter. Wilkesbury trying to answer, but Tegan Wilk, the East Carolina commit, comes up with the interception in the back of the end zone. Wilk had a field day on the night, pretty much all over the field. This is in the second quarter. Comes up with another big interception in the corner of the end zone, keeping the Wolfpack off the board. And then offensively, Wilk streaking down the field, catches a nice pass from Ryan Laubach. Beautiful catch for the huge gain. And he's going to finish off himself in the backfield with a touchdown run. Berwick. For the 55-22 win over the Wolfpack. Dallas and Lake Lehman play the old shoe game Friday night. Matt Moransky, a big night for the Mountaineers. Moransky caught four passes for 117 yards and a pair of touchdowns on his way to being named the game MVP. Dallas really put this game away in the second quarter. Up just 14-6, the Mountaineers outscore the Black Knights 24 to nothing in the second quarter, and they go on to post a 45-6 victory to close out a 10-0 regular season. Rivals Crestwood and Hazleton meet. The Comets balanced out their offense. Ryan Miller, 70 yards rushing and a touchdown. TJ Kulik also had a touchdown. Ryan Petrosky passed it for 227 yards and a pair of touchdowns. One going to Jesse Zaykowski, the other one going to Garrett Swank, and Crestwood beats Hazleton area 28-14. Elsewhere around the WVC Friday night, Valley West beats Williamsport 28-14 to put themselves in the 5A playoffs. Tunkanic drops a shootout to Midwest 39-37, and Susquehanna blanks Holy Redeemer 29-0. This has been the Week 10 edition of the Game Face Highlight Show presented by the Citizen's Voice.